Hello, you need 600 grams of all purpose flour, 3 teaspoons of baking powder, and 600 grams of margarine to make this yummy and fluffy and moist vanilla cake. Now, for the butter, you can use your stand mixer, electric hand wigs, your spatula or hand wigs, whatever is close, whatever is affordable, whatever you can afford, you can use it in mixing. Now I'm using my hand wigs, I'm trying to loosen up the butter first before adding 500 grams of granulated sugar. And then you want to mix this up until it is light and fluffy that is it is called the creaming method you cream it very well now you can see this is just okay it's very fluffy now you need to add about 600 grams of eggs which is about 12 large eggs if you are not sure you just break each and measure it to to have a very accurate measurement now you notice that i am uh, breaking the egg one at a time in a different bowl before putting it is a very very important um, uh, procedure you don't need to ignore because there are times you might end up getting a bad egg and if you're breaking them all together it will just mess up the other egg you have to start all over again and you waste lots and lots of eggs I had an experience even with this one as you can see can you see this it's just watery so I didn't add it I simply threw it away and replaced it with a fresh egg so that I will get the accurate measurement and I really want to use the opportunity to thank all those that have subscribed to my channel thank you so 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 much thank you thank you thank you thank you and God bless you all I hope we'll continue to support each other and see each other grow on these white streets. Now you want to um, interchangeably add in both the dry ingredients, that is your flour and baking powder that you sifted and the, um, the egg. Now you find that at this very particular time I added about two teaspoons of vanilla extracts. This I used the company one or industrial one. It has a very strong and wonderful flavor. It comes out real good. And you want to mix it up. Now what you do is that first of all you start by adding your flour. Then you now add half of your egg. Um, your beaten egg, you add the second part of your flour, you now add in the third, I mean the second part of your, that is second and that is the last part of your egg, then you now add the last batch of flour. Now make sure you mix it properly, but be careful so that you don't over mix, especially if you're using the machines, hand mix or stand mixer, you don't want to over mix the cake butter. Now I'm mixing it and then now um, once we make this cake very very fluffy, I added one cup of yogurt. And I used Hollandia yogurt. This is not um, yogurt cake, but it just makes it much more fluffy and it makes it much more softer and also moist. So you can even see the butter is changing. It is becoming so, so creamy. It's just see the transformation that is taking place. And when you have a very nice and smooth butter, you are also going to come up with nice and sweet and fluffy cakes. That's how it works. So you want to scrape the side, make sure the yogurt is mixed thoroughly, and uh, you share it. Now for this particular quantity, you can divide your cake butter into four size eight inches it's going to give you that much but i used a scale to measure i only measured it into three 
because I was using it for two different cakes. I mean, I had two different cake holders. So um, I mixed the other one with some other cake flavors. So here's my second pan that I'm using. Thank you so much also to my wonderful friends that share my video. Thank you. It is advisable that you split your cake batter into more pans. The reason is that you are going to get much more large quantity of cakes compared to when you put it in just one cake pan. When you are done, you pop it into your preheated oven and bake for about 50 minutes or after that you check if a skewer you put inside comes out neat, then it is done. This is the cake. Unfortunately, I couldn't snap it then, but this is what it wasn't burnt. It was so soft. It was so fluffy. Like sincerely, if you just follow the right procedure, you're going to come out with something like this. And this is not edited. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Bye.